Okay, class, you can see that the classroom is currently empty. And I'm here because I'm undercover. The FBI are after me for being too awesome. So I figure while I'm laying low, I might as well teach you a couple of things. And those things are going to be that we're going to learn about symmetry. Pretty sweet, huh? I think so. Let's check it out. Let's define lines of symmetry. Let's identify the lines of symmetry of an object. And let's identify if a statement is an opinion. Let's check it out. First of all, let's define symmetry. And you can see the word right there. You should write it down. And you should write the definition down. I'm not going to leave it up long, but you can pause the video, write it down, and hit play. A figure has symmetry if it can be folded along a line so that both parts match equally. Write that down, pause it, and hit play again. Okay, you've just hit play. You have that definition written down. Let's move on. How to define lines of symmetry. Hmm. Well, guess what? Sometimes technology is goofy. That's okay. If you, can f if you can draw a line down the middle of an object, fold the object over that line, so this half would fold over this way. If the halves are equal, the object is symmetric. It ha the line of symmetry is accurate. So in this heart, we can draw a line right down the middle. We can fold it over, and it would look like this. There's no parts that are overlapping. Both parts, when you fold it, are equal, okay? When you draw a line this way, across the middle this way, and you fold it down, look, it doesn't match equally. So that is not equal, and it is not symmetric. So this line that I'm showing you right here is not a line of symmetry. Let's check it out. Are these lines symmetric? Well, this one, if we folded this over that line, they would be perfectly equal. So that is a line of symmetry. What about here? We've got a line right down the middle, but if I folded this over, this part has the arrow, this half doesn't. So that would not match, and it is not symmetric. No, it is not. What about the Christmas tree? Well, if we folded it right down the middle, would it match? It looks like it might, but if you look closely, look. The tree stump, there's a lot more of it on the left of the line than there, are on the, than there is on the right. So that is actually not a line of symmetry, and that's why you, when you're looking at lines of symmetry, you have to look very closely, very closely. What about this D? If I folded it over, would it match? Would it be a line? Was that a good line of symmetry? Yes, it is. How about here? We can see pretty clearly that is not a line of symmetry. It is not symmetric. Because the line is here, you'd have the top of your pawn, which is kind of this big circle part, would not match up with the bottom of the pawn. How many lines of symmetry do you think this item has? Well, let's look. If you went from this corner all the way down, right down the middle, that's one line of symmetry. Could you go from this corner out? Not quite. Okay, this triangle doesn't quite work. So we're looking at one line of symmetry here because you could fold it over, but you couldn't fold it this way, that way, or that way. It doesn't work. One line of symmetry. What about this item? Well, let's see. Several, right? You have one line right down the middle. You have another line straight, uh, straight through. You have this line which goes across this way, this line which goes across this way. If you folded it over any of those lines, either way, they would all be symmetric. So this item has four lines of symmetry. How about the smiley face? How many lines of symmetry? Just the one, right down the middle. Because the eyes would match, the nose would match, and the mouth would match. Okay. If you had a line here, the mouth would be on top of the eyes, and that doesn't work. How many lines of symmetry in the letter A? One, right down the middle. How many lines of symmetry in this H? Why don't you pause the video, take a guess, and then we'll look. Okay, you've unpaused the video. 
check it out. Two lines of symmetry. You can fold it this way, and you can fold it sideways. Very good. What about the F? Pause it, get your answer, and unpause it. There are no lines of symmetry. Not every item has lines of symmetry, and this F does not. If we had a line here, then the top of the F would have nothing to match up with. This bottom of the F would have nothing to match up with. We can't have a line down the middle. It doesn't work. No lines of symmetry. Let's practice with some nation's flags. Albania. How many lines of symmetry do you think? I'm guessing one. You can go right down the middle, fold it over. Okay. What about Japan? That's a tricky one. Why don't you write an answer? And I will not tell you the answer. We will look at it tomorrow as a class. Bring your answer with you. How about Albania? Same thing. Write an answer. We'll check it tomorrow. I know I'm going pretty fast, but you can go back and pause these. Canada. Northern Ireland. Don't be fooled. You have to look at every part of the flag. Some of the flags are a little off. That's okay. Just look at the flags. All right. I think that's enough. We're going to look at these tomorrow. If the FBI don't get me first. I'll see you then.